Hi, in this video I want to talk about local linear approximation. Local linear approximation is based on the fact that the average rate of change is approximately the derivative when b is close to a. So how are we going to use this formula? Well, in local linear approximation what we want to understand is what f of b is in terms of f of a f prime of a and b minus a. So what we're going to do first is solve for f of b to get the linear, linear approximation formula. So to do that, let's multiply both sides of this estimation by b minus a. Okay, and now I'd like to solve for f of b, so I'm going to add both to both sides, f of a. So now I have a formula for f of b in terms of these other quantities. Let's put the right hand side to the left hand side and the left hand side to the right hand side to make it look nicer. Here's our local linear approximation formula. This is the formula we're going to use. So what it says is that if you know f prime of a, and you know f of a, and you know b minus a, then you can f have an estimation of f of b. Okay, let's see that in an example. Suppose f is a function with f of 6 equals minus 10, and f prime of 6 equals 2.4. Estimate f of 8 and f of 5. In both cases, we're going to use the local linear approximation formula. So let's remind ourselves of what that formula says. It says that f of b is approximately f of a plus f prime of a times b minus a. So in this case, what, what we want to understand is what f of b is. So in this case, we want to understand what f of 8 is. So b should be 8. And what the things that we know are what f of a is and what f prime of a is. So a is going to be 6. So now let's plug these things in. So it says that f of 8 is approximately f of 6 plus f prime of 6 times 8 minus 6. Okay, so b is 8, a is 6. Okay, but we know f of 6, that's minus 10. We know f prime of 6, which is 2.4. 8 minus 6 is 2. And then if we do the arithmetic, this is minus 10 plus 4.8, which is the same as 5.2 with a minus sign. Okay, so that's uh, how we estimate f of 8. Let's look at how we estimate f of 5. It's the same process. We use the same local linear approximation formula, except this time what we're interested in is finding out what f of 5 is. So here we replace the 8 with a 5. Okay, so let's, so again, f of a, we know what that is, that's minus 10 f prime of a is 2.4, b this time is 5, and a is 6. So we end up with minus 10 plus 2.4, 5 minus 6 is minus 1, so we get minus 10 minus 2.4, which is minus 12.4. Uh, 12 and so that's an estimate of, in this case, f of 5.